Marga show. Today, tonight, we're going to introduce a special guest, Katerina Abramova. She spent a lot of time in India, so she's going to tell us about India. She's going to show us her beautiful paintings and beautiful images from India. And she has an interesting project, which called Portrait of Dream. So, Katerina, tell us about this special project, mm -hmm. Portrait of Dream. Okay, we will start from Dream. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I like it. So, the Portrait of Dream project, um, I do it more than five years, non-stop. And it is about your dreams and intentions and goals in life. So everybody knows from the books of the business that you can create your desk of dreams or you can do your writing and you write whatever you want in your life, what you want to achieve in your life. But I do paintings and it, it will be your portrait, for example, Margot, and what you want in your life. Mm. I will use the symbols you believe or we will find out the symbols will, will work for you and you will be the main person on the painting and of course we will find out um, really what you want in life by talking to each other or email or Skype conversation and then after you will see a lot of sketches and drawings then we will choose one and then I will paint this painting for you deliver it to you and after some months if you really see the painting uh, build the relationship with painting like in the morning and the evening you meditate on with the painting or just um, see the painting and imagine yourself having whatever you want like you are already there you already the person you want to be and after some months maybe a year it will come it, all the dreams mm. will come true. So when I'm going to make my portrait <laughs> of dream and what I have to tell you about what I want? Um, this is you need to know what you want in life. If you don't know, then we will find out. I want a lot of things in life. I want to be beautiful. <laughs> I want to have a lot of money, good <laughs> friends, good health. <laughs> Can you f put everything in a Portrait of life. <laughs> portrait of dream. Yeah, of oh, course. Portrait of dream. I'm sorry. We will put symbols, uh, symbols around you, which will help you to achieve the things you want. But we will choose the really what is most important, because we have goals, which is like small things we need to do, and we have a big dream. Everybody, I mean, it will be good if you, everybody will have their own big dream, the real big dream then this dream we will put on the painting like a main main subject so in all my dreams will come through right <laughs> if you work <laughs> with your conscious and or probably i just look at the portrait so and everything will be okay right <laughs> i always tell to my uh, people who commissioned the work portrait of dream that i am not going to do your dream i am not going to work to achieve your things, I am just painting for you. But your subconscious mind and your mind will see the painting and will believe to the achievement much easier than if you just imagine this in your mind or vis visualize this. Because if we have something material already that we can touch, we can smell, we can see. It's obvious for us. This is exist. This already exists. So it's much easier for our mind to start believing it. And if our mind believes in it, then we can achieve it. Interesting. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about India? It's so, so intrigued. India is also a very intrigued country. So where you've been, what you saw, and what you did there, you did a lot of paintings there, you was in school, so um, tell us little about bit your <laughs> journey to India. <laughs> little bit I can't, but I will try my best, because when I start to talk about India, it can be a little bit. 
it will take forever. Okay, we have a lot of time still. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good, good. Um, first of all, I wanted to say that I have uh, still, yeah, I mean, I'm not uh, going to finish t today my life, but uh, today I have three countries in my life. And um, of course, first is Russia, I'm Russian. And Russia gives me my roots, my education, my family, love from my parents, of course, taste of art, my roots, yeah? They give me power. Then second country in my life is India, which gives me a lot of love, understanding what I'm doing here in this life according to philosophical topics and spiritual topics. Art, I learn a lot in India, in Indian art with Indian artists, and America, United States, which is now my country. The country for my art and my art career and what I want to achieve in my life as an artist. I feel this country will give it to me, or we are going to achieve it together. So about India. Everybody who I met in India and talked to them and asked them how you came here, what happened with you? And everybody has their own story, a very special story. So my story is also special, for me at least. Um, the story is that I have three kids r uh, now, but I had many years ago, I had four, and one passed away, and that moment I realized that I need to change something, and I already was very spiritual from the beginning, was searching and looking for things m which more interesting for me than material life and material achievements. So I read somewhere in some book, I don't remember where, that if you want to change your life or recover from some things you need to, you need to change what you see what you smell, what you taste, and what you hear. So everything, yeah? All things. Then you can like reboot your program like, like a computer. And I did that. I remember that I was very happy in India because I was there uh, in 2001. I was still student of Academy of Arts in St. Petersburg. But in the summertime, I went to Himalayas um, expedition, first time in my life in India. And after many, many years, when I finish my education, when I have my kids and family and work and everything, and this happened with me, I remember that the country I was very happy was India, so I need to go there. I took my three kids. One was uh, one years old, two years old, and 12 years old. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Three hundred, three hundred dollars. Two books of English because that time my English was very poor, very little, and one way ticket. Just you alone, without any alone. man. Alone, alone. Yeah, without no any man. Alone. And impossible. <laughs> alone. Everybody say the same when I <laughs> tell my story, but actually it was impossible for me to stay in Moscow that time. But very possible to just move somewhere, just go. The road is healing and the road is helping to change and understand something about me. The traveling is only about yourself, actually. People think they travel and they see something outside, and they learn something outside. The most important thing that you learn yourself, being in different situations, being in different countries, being in different a life story, uh, life mentalities, and just see different things, how you react on these different things. So you know about yourself and everything here in this life, to know yourself more and more and more. So this was my traveling to know myself and what I can do and who I am. And was this the, the best time to, to find out. <laughs> So I came to Goa with those my kids. One was on my breast. Uh, she, <laughs> she was, yeah, she was just literally 24-7 getting milk from me. 
another one walking around and another one creating a problem. He was 12 and he was always somewhere else and come back only when I need to cover his <laughs> back. <laughs> yes. And then I find um, the way how to survive there. I was working free uh, for food and for stay in one big resort with Indian people. I was doing design there and created first kindergarten in India, Russian kindergarten in Goa. So it was something very crazy, but many people love it. We have to go to the way and we will be right back. back okay i have a question this Good. is katerina abramova very interesting artist very very interesting artist Ma it's margo show it's katerina abramova very interesting show okay <laughs> katerina you have to write a book about yes. your journey with <laughs> little course. with little child i started huh? and i dropped and again started and i again dropped oh my god i had only one child and i have three nannies around <laughs> and you have three ch three kids and, and they all just you <laughs> yeah because they are my nanny <laughs> nannies they take care of me <laughs> <laughs> okay so you spent a lot of time in goa this is at the south of uh, india right where no, is that? it's not south it's, it's close south? to mumbai the mumbai. closest big city is mumbai yeah. so, so it's cost I know that ocean. a lot of people now go over there. What is so interesting about this place? That so everybody, so many people I met, everybody goes there, they said it's an unbelievable place to stay. Yes, a little bit spoiled, like everything, when it's too much of money and too easy money. But when I came there, it was 2007, and it, Russian people just start coming there, creating their businesses, so I did the same. I after the first year, they're uh, working free for food and stay with Indian people in, in Indian resort. Then next year, I continue with the same people, but uh, I already learned a lot uh, about the business, workshop center and resort. So then after two years working together, I created my own. I find the space, the land. We uh, sign agreement for five years and I rented the place and I started to create a workshop center. So it was, uh, we invited people f from all over the world. S most of the people actually was Russian, but other countries as well. And it was my workshops, uh, meditation and painting, 
portrait of dream the same but not i paint but my uh, the people who my student paint their own portrait of dreams my it was like my gallery as well because if you have a hole then you have walls then on the walls you can put the paintings yeah so it was obviously and we invited people for yoga qigong massage dance workshops even business workshops music workshops any others so it was very interesting time and we had a lot of people like almost like 100 200 people a day Mm. What is the special about Goa, which is, uh, I call Goa still, still because I just came back from India three weeks ago and I was in Goa shortly. It is still a place where you can be free. You can express yourself, you can do whatever you fe feel to do, you can try different things. And many people who achieve or understand that their career they built before, the lifetime, like office life and city life and they're tired of this and you know, they have regret of something in life, they can go to Goa still with uh, not big money but little bigger than before <laughs> because everything <laughs> become more costly. So they come to Goa, they can try to learn how to play music, they can try to, to do paintings, they can to do yoga, they can travel they can meet people from all over the world it is very interesting place to be at least one time in your life and it you will never be the same i i interview many hungry people and i all of them said life before india and life after oh okay <laughs> i'm ready i'm going You're to ready? Goa. <laughs> we go next time i'm going to go is artists there that can they live on their paintings? Is anybody buying art over there? There is a lot of tourists. Or who is buying art over there, actually? I, I about myself, I can say about myself. I am a full-time artist more than 20 years. So I live and I raise my kids only by selling my art and doing commission works. Portrait of Dream as well. Because we had a workshop center and we had a lot of people every day coming for different workshops, not only for the paintings and nothing, some, some people doesn't even had any interest about art, but after being in our workshop center, after being surrounding my paintings and I, um, participate my workshop, which I most of the time I did free as a complimentary, Sometimes I, I did uh, ask some money for this. So after that, they buy my art or they commission me portrait of dream. And sometimes it was the time, like a few years, when I, I re literally can, ha can sleep five hours, not more, because I had to paint and paint and paint. Our customers come for two weeks, maximum three weeks, and I need to paint before they fly because it will be easier for them mm -hmm. to fly with the painting or I need to ship the painting from India and nobody knows it will come there or it will never exactly. come there. <laughs> so I was trying to do my best to, to paint the paintings before they fly or give it to other friends who can deliver it to them but very short period of time as well. So I can say that it was very successful in terms of painting and money was coming more from painting than from the workshops itself because we need to pay for rent, we have a lot of people who uh, wor work for us, we had a cafe, we have to rent places for people to st accommodate their stay, not only workshop, the whole. So it was a lot of expenses, we need to pay a lot of people, and the profit itself from the workshops, most of the time went to the covering those costs, but my art profit was the real profit for the family. So who is this <coughs> customers for, from what countries they come in? Yeah, because we were... It's like, looks like it's just so mm, destination that nobody people, that not a lot of people knows about this. No, it's wrong actually but because now we have uh, becoming two flights popular. or three flights every day. From where? From Europe? From Russia, from Europe, more. <laughs> yeah, most of the customers were Russian. Now we don't have any uh, workshops there, but 
I still have a lot of friends and the life continued there. So when I was there after being apart for two years, as I was here in the United States, I was one week just recently in Goa. And actually, ex actually ac everything is the same, but the cost a little bit went up. But life is the same. People, most of the people who stay there, not the tourists who live there like me, same school where my kids were studying, uh, British school, the same people living there, and actually uh, most of the things stay the same, which is good. And I, as I told you, that I just came from India three weeks, almost four weeks ago, and I charged myself. I always feel like if you need, if you have this iPhone, yeah, or any smartphone, you need to charge that. You can't use it anymore. So it was the moment when I was I was using myself till the <laughs> my charger gone, and I really need to go to charge myself. I need to go to India back. So it was two years that the phone need to charge, <laughs> <laughs> and I came back and I fully charged now. So I'm very happy about it, and I I created the I I, I did a lot of meetings this particular visit. India and I will go back in October, November because I have two solo shows. We have to go to the break and we will be right back. We have Ma it's Margot show and we have Katerina Abramova today and I would like to tell you about this catalog that right here this is international art festival where she participate and this is two great images for her, from her art on this catalog this is a great catalog that we develop in international art festival and she has few paintings in international festival very beautiful and this is a catalog okay tell us about your art and what what did you do what kind of art you did in India in India and not in India in any countries because uh, I exhibited a lot in Germany Switzerland Italy and different countries China uh, my art is about unite people with respect to their uniqueness and remind them to their nature, to their inner voice, to listen to their inner voice and understand that not only material world is exist and it is actually not so important. And I want to say 
that you guys can join me next uh, to my next trip to India. It will be 2018, October, November. October mm. will be my solo show New Delhi in Gandhi Gallery. And then a big solo show in Varanasi Beach, Banaras Hindu University Museum, Museum of Fine Art, one month. And then uh, art residency, Tibetan Science Museum and University, where I will participate of the art residency with learning tankas, Buddhist tankas. I want to learn it long time, so I will be very happy to embed new knowledge, new uh, learning, new technique to my art. I will not be tanka Buddhist painters, painter, but of course it will benefit my art, what I do now. And you're welcome to see my website, artabramova.com and .info, artabramova.info, my Instagram page, artabramova, and I am very available to talk and meet and invite to my home. Okay, I'm signing in for your trip to India, first of all. <laughs> You come with me, Margot. November, okay. You <laughs> plan your trip. I am ready. So what is, what is going to be, what, what are you planning next? Do you have any exhibition in the future, like you know, going to be, or you going to be in an art fair? Well, oh, we don't have to, we finish, we don't have time anymore. Please come back next week. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you. Yes, it was very short but beautiful. <laughs>